Chapter 5 Wave Phenomena and Stationary Waves. Chapter 5.1 Studying Wave Phenomena Using Water Waves. All waves, for example, sound waves, water waves, microwaves, they share common properties. As water waves can be easily produced and observed, it is a handy choice to demonstrate the properties of waves. 1. Observing water waves in a ripple tank. In P6 Laboratory, we study water waves using a ripple tank. An off-centered mass on the motor sets it into vibration. When water waves are projected on the screen, the crescents act as convex lenses and troughs act as concave lenses. A line of crescents converge the parallel beam from below and produce a bright line on the screen. A line of troughs diverge the light and produce a dark line. Let's take a look of the video. Set up a ripple tank on an overhead projector. Adjust the elastic threads such that the bar just touches the water surface. Switch on the motor to set the bar vibrating. Attach a dipper to the bar and adjust the elastic threads such that the dipper just touches the water surface. The wave frequency is controlled by the output of the power supply, while the speed of water wave depends on the depth of water. When the output voltage of power supply is increased, the motor turns faster and the vibrating frequency increases. As the depth of water keeps unchanged, the wave speed does not change. Therefore, when frequency increases, the wavelength decreases. To reduce the reflection of water waves from the edges, the edge are inclined or lined with spongy. 2. Straight waves and circular waves. We may see a vibrating bar produces straight water waves and a vibrating dipper produces circular waves. Strictly speaking, plane waves are produced by a vibrating plane. In a ripple tank, we may measure the wavelength simply by dipping a transparent ruler into the tank and measure the wavelength directly from the image projected on the screen as shown in figure 5.1H. Three, frequency, wavelength, and speed. In a uniform water tank for a fixed vibrating frequency, the spacing between the crescents does not change across the screen. On the other hand, when frequency increases, the wavelength decreases as the wave speed is constant. However, the wave speed increases with the depth of water, and that's why we have to keep the depth of water constant. Four. Wavefronts and direction of propagation. To represent the shape of wave, we draw wavefront. A wavefront is a line with all the points vibrating in phase. For example, wavefront is a line of crescents, as in Figure 5.1J. Note that the wavefront is always perpendicular to the direction of travel of the wave, as shown on the left. In example 1, you may measure the wavelength from the picture directly. In part B, the frequency of the deeper is doubled. The wavelength will be halved as the wave speed does not change. Try checkpoint 1 and multiple choice questions in practice 5.1 on the next page.